And I think we're an exciting, in for a very exciting fight, especially if they decide to stand up and strike the whole Well, time. I got a text from somebody who will remain anonymous who said his prediction is Maxime by death, round one. So there's somebody who doesn't think this is going to be a very uh, even fight. But as uh, Jazz mentioned, Lopez weighed in at 211 pounds, and he uh, got fined a percentage of his purse and had to pay a fine of uh, $50 a pound because he was overweight. But Maxime said, I don't care. I'll take the fight anyway. Yeah, I got to take that back about what I said. Maybe he just put on more muscle, and that's why he had trouble making weight. But I thought he looked better than uh, he did going into the John Hart fight. I think Max has the ability to outstrike and outwork him from the outside. Um, I think uh, nice toss there, nice lateral drop there by Max. However, I think this is the sure ticket to a, uh, a path of least resistance, I will say, uh, by Max by putting him on the ground. Although I'd like to see him strike as a fan. When you're dealing with a guy though, like Ray Lopez, it's not the guy you want to really play around with on the feet because he throws overhands, he kind of throws awkward strikes, whereas uh, Maxime is more of a classic striker. And Maxime gets a little high, does a nice job. Now remember, for the fans watching at home, this is uh, professional, five-minute rounds, elbows, elbows to the face, knees to the face, head kicks allowed. Nice leg kick. Very nice leg kick. And uh, Lopez got there a little upset, hands down, kind of goat, uh, goat Maxime on. That's not really a thing to do, I don't think. Not a nice leg kick by Lopez. Well, if Maxime couldn't get on the uh, radar with uh, M1 Global, hopefully the NAAFS will get him up there. Yeah, Max is a guy I think his home is at 205 in the past in Russia for opportunities. You know, he took some fights at heavyweight, kind of more the European way, not cutting as much weight and things like that. But I really think, I mean, he, there's not really a much better physique at 205 than what he has. He's a tall, athletic, strong guy. Oh, nice help. Oh, he is out. Maybe he's not. He just took all that. All right, we're going to need to see a replay on that because was he? He hit about four or five shots. He had his chin down and chin somewhat buried, but some of those landed flush. He had his chin in the correct position, but. Uh, I want to see a replay because I mean, did he get, was he out on his feet for a quick second? Brief snippet, I believe, brief snippet. And I think right now, as he's kind of hanging in the clinch, he's starting to feel some of, the, some of those punches. That may not have been the best decision he's ever made. Watch Max to slide around and deliver some knees. Oh, no, goes for the takedown. And this is what we saw with uh, John Hawk. The takedowns came just way too easy. Yeah, very much so. He was able to stay on top and grind out. Ray didn't have much hip movement from the bottom and uh, things like that. And I think, uh, like I said, the path of least resistance for Max in this fight is to take Lopez down. You see, especially when a guy eats five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or however many of those punches there were. We'll, so, we'll see if uh, what Maxim has up his sleeve here, because so many of the Russian guys um, are known for their Sambo fighting. That's, you know, for those fans that know Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu guys have a zillion ways to put you in a choke and a zillion ways to put you in an armbar. The Sambo guys have a zillion ways to attack your legs. Mm -hmm. And Max has some of that. He's a more of a striking-based uh, Russian fighter. However, I mean, he's rolled for leg locks on me and other guys in the gym. You know, he's well-rounded. Right now, Ray Lopez is in, in some trouble with Maxime in the full mount. Got him pressed up against the cage. And if you hear in Maxime Grishin's corners, not only his head coach Marcus Marinelli, Pablo Castro, but also former NWFS competitor uh, um, Vadim Ivanov shouting out instructions in Russian, serving as a translator for this fight. And in the pro level, you are allowed three corner men. And Grishin's looking to lock in the head and arm triangles, softening him up and trying to tuck it. Good elbow there by Grishin. He's looking, I think he's going to get this choke. That looks deep. That looks very deep. And there's the tap. Good win by Maxim Griffin.